My name is Jorge Rakila. I'm a transplant hepatologist, and I'm also associate director for the Center for Regenerative Medicine at Mayo Clinic. This center is one of the three hybrid centers created by Mayo to transform our practice in the 21st century. Specifically, what we do is to look into what advances of stem cell biology could be useful to apply in the treatment of patients with end-stage diseases, such as heart failure, liver failure, diabetes mellitus. This year has been a great year for the Center for Regenerative Medicine. Mayo Clinic has continued to be the largest transplant program in the world in this solid organ transplantation. And our results continue to be a top in terms of quality and survival of our patients. Also, regenerative medicine has been recognized this year as the recipient of the Nobel Prize in Medicine. Specifically, Dr. Yamanaka from Japan and Dr. Gordon from the UK were recipients because of their work, pioneer work in induced pluripotent stem cell and nuclear transplant, respectively. What we're aiming at during this year is to continue our progress in solid organ transplantation and bring new uh, modalities in terms of immunosuppression applied to these uh, organ transplantations. But also we're very excited with the possibility of further interaction with the Arizona State University, the, the specifically the Department of Bioengineering, in our program for neo tissue as well as neo organ. Specifically in neo tissue, we have a, a team that has been led by Dr. Cornell and Dr. Yi at Mayo Clinic with colleagues in bioengineering at ASU to approach in a novel manner the treatment of very difficult condition called pelvic organ prolapse. Now we'll have Dr. Cornella to provide specific details of his project in coordination with our colleagues at ASU. Thank you. My name is Jeffrey L. Cornella. I'm a gynecologic surgeon at Mayo Clinic, Arizona. My area of specialty is pelvic reconstructive surgery. The collaboration between Mayo Clinic and Arizona State University has been very positive with multiple disciplines involved and multiple departments. Our translational project involved tissue engineering of a vaginal construct. Approximately 11% of women will have surgery for pelvic organ prolapse or urinary incontinence. The recurrence rate following these procedures is up to 20%. This results in tens of billions of dollars of outlay per year in the United States. Some institutions have used mesh in the pelvis in an attempt to reduce recurrence from these surgical procedures. This has resulted in a certain amount of risk and complication risk. If we can use a vaginal construct in pelvic reconstructive surgery, we can use the patient's own tissues to potentially decrease the risk of recurrence. It can also be used as a neovagina for patients born without a vagina, as may happen in some congenital anomalies. My initial collaboration was with Dr. Vincent Pizziconi at ASU. Since that time, the collaboration has extended to multiple talented researchers on their campus, including Drs. Pizziconi, Masia, Pawkin, and Santello. In addition, our fellow, Dr. Johnny Yi, has been intrinsically involved in this project, both on our campus as well as the Arizona uh, campus. My name is Johnny Yi. I'm one of the surgical fellows for the Department of Gynecologic Surgery at the Mayo Clinic of Arizona. As Dr. Cornella said, I have been intimately involved in the research project with Arizona State University. We've been developing a vaginal construct uh, that relies on the concepts of regenerative medicine. At this point in the project, we have received funding through the Center for Regenerative Medicine through the Mayo Clinic, and we have started collecting vaginal tissue biopsies from both prolapse patients and non-prolapse patients. Growing these cells out in cell culture, we then plan to seed the cells onto, this, onto the scaffold that we've developed. The scaffold, which we believe is crucial to this project, uh, mimics collagen and hopefully will allow tissue regrowth and better wound healing. If you'd like to learn more about regenerative medicine at Mayo Clinic, please visit our website.